The sighting in open water swimming, it is key, I think, for the, at the start of the event to just go down and gauge where the swim is actually taking place. It is very hard to see a buoy out in the water by itself when you're down swimming. So ideally, you want to pick a landmark off in the distance that's in, directly in line with the buoy. So for instance, whether it be a large tree in the background, a building off in the distance, or just a hill or a landmark further on. So when you're swimming and you raise your head, it is much easier to see a giant landmark, building, hill, etc., rather than the buoy itself. While swimming during the event, it's probably best and it is fastest to swim in a straight line. And to do this, you need to be able to lift your head and sight while maintaining your swim stroke. So ideally, you want to count through 10 full swim strokes and then raise your head after each 10 strokes and make sure you're still on line picking the buoy or your landmark off in the distance. The part of the stroke where you want to move into the sighting motion is right at the front of the stroke. So as you put your hand into the water, press down on the water, you can raise your head. So in a way you're lifting yourself up out of the water. You only want to do it for one stroke. So you'll come in, press, lift, and then your other arm will come down and you'll put your head back in the water. You may need to do this one or two times, um, one or two strokes, in able to pick up your landmark and sight the direction you're going, and then continue on into the swim. And as I said, every 10 strokes, you want to repeat that motion, making sure that you're heading in a straight line. So race day, when you're surrounded by hundreds of people, you're comfortable and confident that you're going to have the quickest swim possible.